Hi everybody, Jason here. Uh, every year I normally take a trip from Hinsdale, New Hampshire, which is down on the southwesternmost point of the state, and I drive four and a half hours north to Pittsburgh, New Hampshire, one of my favorite places to fish. Uh, in previous years I used to go up and do a lot of spin rod fishing. I don't really do so much of that anymore. Uh, I do more fly fishing up there. There's a lot more fly fishing only spots that I like to hit now that I know that they're there. Um, it's a really good time. Uh, I'm gonna take you along with me and see what kind of fun we can have. Can you tell how much my car likes all this camping weight? Okay. It's squatting. Okay, so made it all the way to Pittsburgh. Just coming across the line right now. Um, it's about where I start fishing right here at the bottom of Pittsburgh, start working my way up to the Canadian border, but I'm gonna go check in and get the tent site all set up and looks like the sun's peeking out. I might just go fishing the first night I'm here. We'll just have to wait and see. Pittsburgh campsite Mountain View campground there's a lot of black flies out pretty much the same way it was last year uh, I got a bug net this year well prepared but yeah not a whole lot of stuff here it's a tent some fly gear essentials tiki torches a chair a week's worth of sh and a cooler so it is what it is we're gonna have some fun this week Hopefully not get too many bug bites or any poison ivy. That'd be good. Got the fire going and bugs aren't biting anymore, so that's good. Just gonna have a beer and relax and we're gonna start fresh and early tomorrow morning. See you then. Car battery's dead, so I can't drive anywhere can't have any coffee so I'm just gonna pack up and I'm gonna go fish Perry stream for the morning why not right we're here well down here in the woods I'm standing over Perry stream right now uh, happy corner bridge is actually right there but I'm gonna head downstream until this bumps into the Connecticut River and I'm gonna fish my way back but we're gonna have a little bit of hiking to do first I met up with the Connecticut River here. Seems as though Perry Streams get a lot of suckers running in it. But I'm gonna go jump in the trophy section for a little bit. See how far I can't head up river on that. Maybe hook in some nice fish. I'd like to catch one today anyway. Well, there's some of the trophy section. Didn't catch anything. A lot of guys here now. It is now 11.45. I could have kept fishing, but I figure it's probably time to go back and get some lunch. So I just got back from my long walk out of River Road, which is actually quite a ways away from the campsite. But I didn't have to worry too much about that because a nice guy named Pete stopped, picked me up, found out that my car was dead. So he came here, gave my car a jump, Thank you, Pete. Nice to meet you. So, yeah, back in business. Maybe I'll have to go fishing somewhere fun. I might go to McGalloway Bridge this afternoon. We'll see. I just did that trophy stretch and eh, slim pickings. Catching 
days, huh? Fun. There it is, salmon. You seen it here? Feisty little guys. No bullet train. Yeah, buddy. Started to come down to Murphy Dam again. Let's see if we can make something happen. A lot of bugs out right now, so we might be entertaining. Try to hit it up before everyone shows up. Last place I was at before the McGalloway Bridge, man. There's a lot of people. So. back from Lopstick Lodge, grab some more flies. Looking at First Lake and it's white caps, windy as all hell. There's no bugs. I don't really like going to the bogs around here much because it's so buggy. But today might be a good day to go to the bogs. No bugs and wind is not fun to cast in, but I'm gonna go to the bogs. Well, drove all the way out here. This place is packed with a whole family of people. And couple other people and shorelines elbow to elbow so I'm heading back out of here it's uh, quite a fun little drive in and out it's more like four-wheeling I have a car this first bog that I drove out to is a uh, Coon Brook bog and I just want to give you a little uh, show of what kind of driving you got to do out here you might want to have a truck got hung up there but we're gonna go to the next bog up big brook bog Here at Big Brook Bog, um, gonna probe around here a little bit, and I know that Unknown Pond is in the woods that way. I don't know how to get there, but we got some new apps for that, so I'm gonna see if I can't find my way through the woods to Unknown Pond later.
Well, I'm in the middle of the woods. I'm on my way to Unknown Pond right now. Uh, I took a topographical map before I got into the woods. That way I got some sort of bearing. Uh, the app that I'm using actually will take a picture of the map and let you actively use the map even though you don't have cell phone reception. It's very handy. It even knows where I am, so I get my bearings pretty easy. But just giving you an idea of what I'm walking through. It is thick through here, and I'm basically following an old logging trail. But there's moose tracks out here, and they are fresh, and they are bigger than my hand. Do moose rub trees? Hmm. Yeah, a little bit. It's small. Mr. Snake. Snakey snake. Mr. Snakey Snake. You gonna bite that tip? Yes, you are. Look at you. Bitey one. It's worth the hike. Not really worth the fishing. Pretty shallow. Oh, look at you. You're so cute. Little tiny one. But the other day I did uh, a little tiny section of Perry Stream. I did from Happy Corner Bridge down to River Road Bridge um, just before I bumped into Connecticut. Um, I'm going to go explore the upper half of Perry Stream now. Uh, take Day Road and find out how far I can go up Perry Stream. Um, it comes out of Perry Ponds, so I figure I might as well go check that out. Little brookie, little cutie. Mmm, yummy. down to the trophy section pick it up on car ridge road and head my way up which is pretty popular but i figured some of the crowd's probably gone so maybe i'll be able to go through there and pick a couple fish up This morning is to go back to Car Ridge Road and work my way up to Connecticut River. Uh, fish were hitting pretty good yesterday. Lost a really big one. So I figure I'll just go up that way. Mosquitoes are 
crazy down here today. It's like the weather's starting to turn out a little bit better and out come the mosquitoes. I made for one frustrating afternoon. I didn't catch a damn fish. I got caught in a hundred trees. I ended up losing a bunch of flies. I ended up poking a pinhole in my damn wader. So now I'm gonna have to walk all the way home with one wet foot. Now I would like to note there was plenty of fish in that stretch of water. I mean I was sight fishing most of them, but you know it's middle of the day when I got on more fish. It seemed like they were just kind of basking in the sun. It's pretty warm out today. I'd say it's probably about 80 degrees. So they might not be hungry.